there! Welcome to our math time today! All right, folks, so to yesterday we talked about breaking apart numbers into our tens and our ones. We're going to use that today to work on a strategy that we can use to help us solve problems like this. 65 and 15. Now what I'm going to show you is just one more strategy, one more way of thinking about the numbers. Um, if you don't like it, if it doesn't make sense to you, that's okay. You can use different strategies, but I do want you to try this one out just so you see if it makes sense to you, if you understand it. We will practice with the other strategies today, but I'm going to show you one more strategy to help us solve these big adding problems. Okay? So yesterday we broke down big numbers into tens and ones. So we're going to do that today, and I'm going to show you how we will take that to help us solve. Okay? So starting off, we have 65 plus 15. Now, if we remember from yesterday, we said 65, how many tens? Six tens, which is the same as what number? 60. So we can break 65 down into 60 and 5, because 60 plus 5 is 65. So 60 and 5, and we can break 15 down into what? 10 and 5. And remember, it's not a 1 and a 5, because 1 and 5 would be 6. 10 plus 5 would give us 15. Okay, so we broke them down. Now I'm going to show you another way of quickly thinking about this. Because if you can break these down, either by writing them or thinking about them in your head, it'll help you solve faster. Okay, but it is kind of a tricky strategy at first, so just try your best with us. And if you want to be writing this down with us and pause the video and pause and write down, you definitely can. Um, if you just want to listen and look for a bit, that's fine too. Okay, so you do whatever helps you learn the most. I know in class some of you like to write down your math notebook as I was solving, so you can definitely do that or you can just watch and learn, but make sure you're paying attention. Because if you're just la 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 not paying attention, you're not going to know what to do. Okay, so make sure you're paying attention. All right, so we broke down 65 into 60 and 5. We broke down 15 into 10 and 5. So now we can just add up our 10s and our 1s. Okay, so I know 60 plus 10 more would be what? 60 plus 10 more would be 70, right? Because we can count, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Then we have our 5 and 5 in our 1s place. What is 5 plus 5? 10. 5 plus 5 is 10. And then we have two answers, 70 in the tens place and 10 in the ones place. So our last thing we need to do is add these together. So what's 70 plus 10 more? 70 plus 10 more. Let's count by our tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 plus 10 more? 80. Okay. So 65 plus 15 is 80. So that's one more strategy. You can break these down and solve the tens and the ones to help you solve. Now, if this strategy is confusing to you, that's okay. I'm going to show you a couple more times using this strategy, and we'll also practice our quick ten strategy and our place value strategy. So let's go ahead and practice our quick tens and place value just because I know most of you are comfortable with those strategies. So let's solve again using our quick tens. So 60, how many tens are in there? Six, four, five, six. How many ones? Oh, and I'm going to go ahead and put this in our place value chart because I like that. Organized tens and ones. How many ones? Five. One, two, three, four, five. So I have 65 right now. Now we're going to add in 15. How many tens? One. Oh, and I'm going to color code this time. I found the blue marker. Exciting. One ten. And how many ones? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa, look at that. We filled up our, oh, what is it called? I'm sure you guys remember our tens frame, tens frame. That's what it's called. So we filled up our tens frame. So now we know if we have 10 ones, it's the same as having one ten. So we're going to take these 10 ones and change them into one ten. So they're going to come over here. I'm going to cross those off. So remember, they're gone and move it into one ten. Look what we did here. How many are in our ones place? Zero. How many in the tens place? Let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Well, we have eight in the tens place. So that means our answer is 80. So we solved, oh, and there's our answer from last time. So that's our normal way to solve. And now we're practicing the other way, breaking it into tens and ones. Awesome. All right, we're going to try another couple problems. 
So I'm going to show you that first strategy and then we'll do our normal quick tens and place value strategies. Let's solve two more and then you're going to solve one by yourself. Okay. And remember, if you want to be writing this down with me, you definitely can. Okay. So you can pause the video whenever you want. You can write down stuff or you can just be listening, but make sure you're paying attention. All right. So our next problem is going to be 48 plus 33. 48 plus 33. All right, let's use the strategy that we, the one that we're learning today. So let's break it down into tens and ones. So 48, what do you hear? 40 and eight, because we have four tens, which we can break down into 40 and eight ones. So 40 and eight is 48. All right, now we have 33. How many tens and how many ones? 30 and 3, 33. Yep, so we have 30 and 3. Okay, now I'm going to do my adding sentences down here. If you get really good at this, you can kind of do it in your head, but since we're just practicing today, we're going to write it down to make sure we don't make any silly mistakes. So let's do our tens first. So we have 40 and 30. So let's start at 40 and add the 30. So 40, 50, 60, 70. So that gives us 70. And remember when we talked about the patterns, about like last week, I think it was, um, our four and our three is seven. Four plus three is seven. So 40 plus 30 is 70. Okay, now let's do our ones. And I can even cross those off since I added those. Let's do our eight and our three. Eight plus three. What's eight plus three? Let's count on eight in your head. Nine, 10, 11. So eight plus three is 11. Now I still have these two numbers down here that I need to add together. So we have our tens and we have our ones. And now we're gonna add them together. And notice, I lined them up. So I have my tens in line, kind of like if it was in a place value chart. And I have my ones, tens and ones. And so here you can see the 10, the 11 actually went into one in the tens, just like we would have if we were building it. Cool stuff. So now, Zero plus one is how many ones? One. And seven plus one is how many? Eight. And we know that's in the tens place, so it's the same as 80. So our answer is 81. Okay? Okay, let's solve it very quickly. I'm gonna show you again using our quick tens and our place value chart. Let's see if we get the same answer, which I hope we do. Otherwise, that means we messed up something. I gotta go back and figure it out, which is okay. So using our place value chart, we have 48. So let's build that in here. How many in the tens place? Four. One, two, three, four. How many in the ones place? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm making rows of five or columns of five. Now let's do our 33 and I'm gonna do a different color. How many in the tens place? Three. How many in the ones place? Three. Oh, and I can fill up my tens frame. So now that one is filled up. It now becomes a 110. So we move it over here. Boop. That goes away. But look, there's still a one, so don't forget about that one. How many ones do we have? One. How many tens? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tens, which is the same as 80, plus one more gives us 81. Boom. Which is the same answer we got from breaking down those numbers into tens and ones. All right, let's do one more, and then I want you to solve by yourself Whew, using our big strategy, okay? It may seem confusing, but I want you to try it out and see what you think, even if it seems confusing. Try it out, and then maybe you'll like it. All right, last one that we're going to solve together, 39 plus 62, okay? Let's break it into tens and ones. 39, can you hear it? 39, so we have 30 and 9. And let's break down 62 into 60 and 2. Okay, let's add up our tens. We have 60 and 30. Using the patterns that we know, 3 plus 6 is what? 6, 7, 8, 9. So 30 plus 60 equals See about all those math patterns really help us out. That's why we practice them all the time. All right, let's add up our ones. So we counted up our tens. Let's add our ones, nine and two. Nine and two is what? Nine 
10, 11. All right, now look, I lined up my ones and I lined up my tens. Okay, so now we're gonna add up. So I counted all that. Let's look at our ones and tens. Yep. So what, how many are in the ones place? Zero and one, so that is one. How many are in the tens place? Nine plus one, which is 10. <gasps> look at that. Oh, we got a big answer, 101. Ooh, that's awesome. That might be one of the biggest problems we've ever solved. Pretty proud of us for that. All right, let's solve it with our quick tens in place value chart just to practice that a little bit more. And then you are gonna be solving on your own. When you're solving on your own, you can use whichever strategy you want. But it is a good idea to check your work and make sure it makes sense. So I have my place value chart. Let's see if we can get the same answer with our quick tens. So we have 30 and nine. So how many tens? Three. One, two, three. How many ones? Nine. Just kidding. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Changing colors, changing numbers. Now we have 62. How many tens? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And how many ones? Two. I fill up my place, or my tens playing frame. Meow. So that is the same as one ten. I'm going to move over here. Meow. And I'm going to cross it off. All right, so how many ones do we have? Just one. Let's count our tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So we have 10. We should count it by 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 tens. Look at that. 10 tens, which is the same as 101. So that's the same that we got from our last answer. Woohoo! So we learned a new strategy today. So now you have several different strategies you can use to help you solve these big problems. You have one more problem to solve by yourself, and then you are done with math for the day. Remember, I do go back and check your work, so make sure you don't just write answers four. The answers 72. Show me your thinking. I wanna see which strategy you're using, and maybe you came up with a new strategy or a combination of these to help you solve. And I love seeing your thinking. I miss that so much. So please show your thinking so I can see your awesome, awesome thinking. So that tells me as the teacher what else I can do and what else I can show you. Or maybe I can take your idea and show everyone else for my next video. So make sure you show your thinking. So you have one more problem to solve, and then I will see you for writing. Have a great day.